Good morning and welcome to Daily Rant here on New Day. My name is George Quinn and we are live on DSTV channel 279. There's a seeming tension between Ghana and Nigeria regarding retailing in the country. Somewhere last week, some unidentified men went to close down some shops of Nigerian retailers in Kumasi and that brought about some tension in the community. And they are caused that which should sack all Nigerians from the country. And uh, the uh, commissioner has also come out to say that we are giving bad reportage to Nigerians in the country. Are we still going to have that relationship, healthy one, intact? This is Daily Rant. Let's keep talking. Look, he's selling phone assets. He's retailing. They lost them. No! Why? That's an agenda moving over there. Let me see. In the next 20 minutes, they'll come and pass like 20. They'll just come and pass. They've taken advantage of our system. You see, the point is that a Nigerian, when a Nigerian imports things, he doesn't clear his things in Ghana. He clears in Nigeria. And when he clears, Nigeria free portal. Listen, he, he clears the the things in his country for his, his economy to grow. Then he takes a car, packs the same things in it, pays some small, small tokens at the borders, and take the same thing into our country. See oh, who is losing? We've given them too much liberty. And our, our, our politicians too. They send to anything, any agreement, they send to it. You know, they don't consider our economy, they don't consider our people, they don't consider anything. The only good thing we know about Nigerians in retailing business is that they understand the business and then they don't care about much profit as uh, the Ghanaians do. A Ghanaian will buy, let's say, a phone for about 100 cities and would like to sell it, 300 cities for triple, uh, what do you call it, profit. But the Nigerian doesn't care whether even if, if he gets 10 cities for profit. But when it comes to uh, their attitude, I think it's bad. What, what, what actually? What do you do? Yeah, in business. I remember some time ago me that he went to Circle to buy a phone. At the end of the day, he had the uh, whole of them. They wanted to, I mean, attack him. So uh, imagine if we the Nigerians, eh? Ghanians, let's say Ghanian retailers, you people are scared of you know, competition. It's not, about, it's not about being scared of competition. Our people in this country, I don't know whether I call witches or wizards. Their own people, you know, a store goes, probably a person will be hiring a store like, uh, let's say, 20,000 a month. 5,000 a month. How do you expect the Ghanaian to afford it? And Nigeria doesn't care. He will rent that store. Then he will, he will, he will rent that store a circle. That store, he will be to like four Nigerians. One store, four, be, four people will be doing... Four people will be doing, be doing, yeah. four, four will be doing the same, a business in... That's you also pay to him. That's what I'm saying that. It's not about the understanding business. It's about... Well, let, let me put this on record. Nigerians know how to do business more than us. Let's put that on record. Let's put it on record. Let's establish that. Yeah. Let me tell you. Yeah. Molly, establish it. You can't do a see, fact. See, they might be good in their business. They should stay in their country and use their their strategies in their country. Here it's for Ghanaians. But they keep up for Ghanaians. Not their business. There's no the foreigners, the foreigner. Has taken over, especially your youth want to work tight, they want to be in the office. It's not about see, we know we, we, we've come to we have come to understand one thing that see the the big is on the street and not in the offices, but we are business. You see, my father just pointed at an Nigerian man pushing a uh, housing. We, our brothers, the normal seat behind <laughs> behind uh, somebody's gate or window, they will be shouting, ah! How many of them? You will tell them today, oh, let me do a box for you to sell your goods. You don't discuss You are provoking our being. Because the point is that, listen, George, listen, nobody will say he doesn't like to work. Nobody. Who likes to work? See, they are always there. We can do the same thing here. Why, why not do it? If you can do the same thing, George, you have to do it. You see, me normally I normally go to Abu Sokai. You see, at times our people, we sell things for scrap. They will take it from the scrap seller. 
they will go to Abosu Kain. Abosu Kain people, they will rebrand it, put oil, sell to we. And So will last more than a one Ghana have already used. Yeah, because I normally could, it's happy that they are selling fake to, to, to win Ghanaians. And Nigeria will come from his country, come play as well, you give us fake. And you are happy. Oh, what, 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 be realist. What does the law say? The law says foreigners are not supposed to. The the Shamia is too much. And the trouble, the corruption is too much. They are taking, they, they are giving them fake papers and they are still, still they are our people our sisters so they, they should implement the laws the laws say foreigners i have nigerian friends please i'm not talking against you all what i'm saying is lebanese are re retailing nigerians are retailing togolese are retailing nigerians are retailing. But, i know i know the, 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 the i know i know the laws found on that but we should also know that ghana as a country we cannot just move alone yes we yeah, need yeah. people to we live in a hold hands village. yeah but what does the law say then they should they, they, they should do something to the law. They should have to pay the law. But if the law still stands, the foreigners are not supposed to retail. Then we should implement the law. But, 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 but look at this. But look at this. Some unidentified men in Kumase who went to close down shop yes. for some Nigerians. Yes, I support them 100%. That's me, I, I was even volunteer to go and close it. Because they do that hand to mouth. They need space. You need space to do the same thing that a Nigerian is doing. Because a Nigerian has money. I'm not telling you that a Nigeria does not clear his goods in this country. He clears his goods in his country. Take the same goods by road into your country. Who is benefiting? Who is losing? English. Uh, uh, we, are, we have to quest. We have to quest. Is go to Nigeria. How many people own? own yes. yes. We, we, we know we are equals, but consider your people first before any other person. But we will say things that tomorrow America. Please, Ghana first. Ghana. If you are here behind and you allow foreigners to overtake your system, your business system, you. And I, I, I understand how you people feel. Wait, I understand how you people feel. But, uh, uh, we all Ghanaians living in Nigeria. You understand? So let's. Oh, wait. I don't blame. I don't blame the people here. I don't blame the people who are this. I blame the. Uh, 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 what do you call? It? Uh, What evidence do we need? We need a lot of people to come to the public. We have proper, proper, uh, proper scrutiny. We don't have anything. You are, uh, you are uh, contributing equally to whatever is happening to, to the country today. One way or the other, I do support Maoli on that. Because people come into the country, you, know, you don't get it. We go to the public. Uh, you will see how people at least tighten. Come here, don't do any genuine businesses. We saw with that. Ask yourself, when is the last time you heard about kidnapping when Nigerians were not plenty in this country? You understand? This th this thing started coming on when we are uh, we are having uh, They've taken our relationship with Nigeria yeah. mad yeah. because. Did you hear the professor? It is God who revealed this news. We, we live in this country not knowing that we live in paradise. See, a Nigeria will come from Nigeria, pass uh, Beni, pass Togo, then get into your country. Why, why won't he stay at uh, Beni yes. or Togo? Because he knows that the lost work there. When he commits, they will deal with him. But here, they will tell you that, oh, the so what you're saying is not a joke. It will get a time. Eh? People will take up arms and start foreigners. Believe me. Because 
See, I, I hope that, that, that time will come. Those who went to close the shop at are you ready when they are closing those shops? Are you ready to work? <laughs> if you're not ready to work and somebody's working, you no, know, if you are really you want to do the business, at times look, circle. Initially, when you go to circle, it is Ghanaians who are circle. Ask yourself what counts before Nigeria to the country because what you are selling and what two of them are selling do is equal, but their their profit margin is less. He will sell the same iPhone to you, thousand two. But this will move fast than you. Shop owners so in, in definitely, in definitely, if I'm a shop owner, if I'm a shop owner, and I, I say I need five years, I need about ten thousand, and you cannot give me ten thousand. Somebody can't say you give me ten thousand. I don't have any problem. I have to give it out because me, I'm running a business. So if you are ready to work, take one and work. The shop owners at where you mentioned circle, it was greed. They gave it to the Nigerians because they are paying. That's what they are doing to agree. The landowners, the, 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 the landladies, the, that's what they are doing. They are renting their source to these owners at a fair price. Meanwhile, we, the citizens, are, don't have that much money to pay. That's how it started. That's why you go over the 80% of them are all and just now. And if you play a list, you, say, you think as if you are in a foreign land. Your own country, and they take over everything. The laws, you just implement the laws. What does the law say? They can also do it. They, they just, if you are a Ghanaian li living there, just obey by their, their laws. Then you are cool. You are finally living here. Obey by our laws. Because if we citizens, when we commit, the, the, court, the, the court deal with us. The law must be a nine months. Make it so try not to do We should work. You understand? Because, oh, wait. Who are here? I'm talking the, about those the living around. Lazy. You understand? You have to understand the, that we are not lazy. The Nigerians and the foreigners have taken over, and we need to do something about it. The earlier, the better. The laws are not even working. Okay, okay, okay. okay. So this very issue always awakens people's emotions, and this very one is not an exception. Work to Nigerians retailing in Ghana. Let's know what you also think watching home. Just log on to our social media platforms on Facebook. It's TV3 Ghana.